friends, it's Miss Quas here today and I'm going to show you a really simple way to make a watercolour background even if you don't have watercolours. So for today's activity I'm going to use some um, things that I think that most of you should have at your house. So you're going to need markers and they have to be washable markers. Don't use Sharpie for this, you know I'm a fan of Sharpies. But these ones we want the colour to bleed so we need um, Crayola washable markers or whatever brand you have. You're going to need some aluminum foil. Now, if you don't have aluminum foil, Mackie, can you pass me that Ziploc bag? You can always use a Ziploc bag for your base. I'm gonna show you today using aluminum foil, but you can do the same process on a Ziploc bag and you're still going to get the same result. I've done it both ways and they've both been really successful. And the last thing you want to do is we're going to take a print from our aluminum foil and you're going to put it onto a piece of paper. Now because we're using um, water to make the colors run, we want a thicker piece of paper. I'm using a heavy um, watercolor paper. If you have cardstock, that's great. But if all you have is plain paper, that works just fine as well. So let me show you. I pre-colored a little bit of this so you guys could see what it looks like. So I've taken my aluminum foil, I've used the edge of my marker, the flat side, and I've colored in rainbow order almost to the bottom here, and I've left a little bit so I could show you the process. You can use any color you want. I'm going to use this background for um, some Easter rabbits that I'm going to make with my class. So that's why I chose a rainbow because I thought that would be nice. If you have pastel colors, that works well too. So I'm not being picky about how I'm coloring. I'm not worried that it's totally solid. I'm just going back and forth. And I want to use not the point. I want to use the edge of the marker because then it's quicker for me to do. And my last color in my rainbow order is going to be that nice dark purple. Just working quickly across. It doesn't matter if it dries because we're going to reactivate the ink when we spray it with the spray bottle. Uh, most people at home have a spray bottle for maybe watering plants or if you have something to spray if you iron your clothes. Um, I have a spray bottle that I use to wet my hair down and this little one is like a diffuser so this one's going to smell really nicely. And I'll feel very calm. So after I've done my coloring my next step is to spray my foil all over where I've colored. And teachers and parents, this is a really good chance for kids to use their finger strength and this is pretty hard for a lot of kids to do. Okay, I'm gonna take my paper and I'm going to lay it down. And then I'm going to use my hand to gently rub it. And this is very soothing. And you're rubbing it back and forth and back and forth. If you use a thin paper here, I would do this part really quickly just because the paper could get a little bit soggy. Okay, now with one hand, you're going to hold the corner of your foil and with the other hand, you're going to slowly lift your paper up. Aiden, can you pull that paper out of the way? Are you ready for the grand reveal? I want to hear an ooh and an ah when I show you, ready? want it to be even more colored you can continue giving it a little bit of a spray here and that's really going to get those colors to blend and that's a really simple way that you can make a watercolor paper at home if you have no watercolor paints at your place if it curls up after it dries no big deal put it under a stack of books for a little bit or give it a press with your iron Thanks for coming and joining us today. I hope this was a helpful tutorial.